Go for us, Polyphemus. Yeah, I know your cousins. Agassizia, we get the Berlandi right where I live. What is this? Is this sand too? This is a sand, a sandy substrate here in in uh, South Central Florida. You can make your Disney dreams come true. Blech. To Lanzia and Saranoa and everything. God, what a what a fucking lovely creature, huh? Yeah, they're so much darker than the uh, Berlandi eyes, like half that size. And then the Mojave ones are like a beige. They wouldn't be that black, of course, because of how hot it is. All right, off into the scrub. Okay, bye, little guy. 20, 30. Yeah, so what's up, with, what's up with those things? So they are a keystone species here in Florida in the sandy uplands. They, um, their burrows, which are very deep underground, are a really key refuge for a lot of the different wildlife that occur in these sand hills that burn regularly almost every single these year. These fucking mosquitoes are the size of, man, they're the size of falcons. Jesus Christ. And so Christ. during a burn, <laughs> so many different wildlife will go down into the gopher tortoise burrows and find refuge from the fires in the burrows. Where'd he go? He's in there somewhere. Mosquitoes the size of hawks down here. The fuck, we just get those invasive uh, 80s where I live. So come here, we got Saranoa Repens. Let me know if I fucking this up. We got Roos back there. What is that, Copalinum back yeah. there? I'm out of my element here. We got Calicarpa Americana, which is Lamiaceae, the beautyberry. What a nice name. And then we got Euthamnia. What is that, Caroliniana? Mm -hmm. Goldenrod relative, and then... Uh, more of that roost. Who's this right there? This looks like a vaccinium, huh? This. What is that? Yeah. No, that's right. Yeah, that's right there. Yeah. Oh, that's a Lyonia. Oh, Lyonia. Yeah. Same family. This is Andropogon. What is it? That's a beautiful grass. Yeah. They changed the genus to what now? Anathrium. Anathrium. Oh, that's, yeah, that is a beautiful grass. Yeah, we got There's Rexia. Lyonia. Um... Rexia over there. The little melastone with those, those funky anthers. Variations on a theme. Look at that. That's a, a different kind of little blue stumps. Look at those little danglers out there. Those little dingleberry anthers. Skyzacrium stolen from. Oh, look, it's got Christmas colors. How about that? That's so quaint. Look at that red and green. Oh, it's so sweet. Where's those fucking mosquitoes at? Little hawks. That shit is terrifying. So we've seen this little thing. It looked like a bird egg, but it's a flower of this guy, which is Gordonia lazyanthus. In the tea family, TAC. Green tea, black tea, Camellia sinensis. It's all the same plant, Camellia sinensis, just different uh, different methods of uh, curing it, but same family. How many species are in this genus? How many species are in Gordonia, you know? There are multiple, but we only have one in North America, I believe. And it's this guy. Yeah, that yeah. bark is beautiful. It is. When they get even more mature, the bark kind of fissures and is dark in between in the fissures. Oh, it's super is, smooth too. Yeah. We got any ass rash plants around here I need to worry about or what? Not really, Just huh? Poison ivy. I don't see any. Okay, good. Oh, that's a beautiful flower. Yeah, ovary and style persist, of course, because that'll turn into the fruit later, but there's the stamens. Looks just like a tea flower. Many stamens inside. Look at the frilly shits. Look at those five frilly ass petals. We got Opuntia, we got a cactus, Opuntia austrina, and then the Saranoa repens. And then, is that just Quercus virginiana back there? No, these are other Quercus. Look at all that sand. Through all that white sand is just you know, the, the former Appalachian Mountains, ground down. It's not the limestone, because the rock here, the substrate's all limestone. That's not what this is. This is, this is pure quartz, silica dioxide. Oh, that's Geminata. So sand life. Oh, look, we got a little, we got a, what is that, a bull eater? It looks like a Rusula, huh? Oh, it's a little Rusula. Little mycorrhizal guy coming up uh, underneath the uh, Quercus Geminata. Okay, so this looks like Virginiana, but it's got the revolute margins, the folded over uh, margins, and then it's got that little indument, that little white fuzzy indument. Oh, that's cute. So you can tell apart from uh, Virginiana. Beautiful fucking trees, though. You know, I'd still rather have the pawn shops and the Florida Pain Clinic and Ross Dress for Less, though. Don't get me wrong, this is nice. So, you know, a tortoise drops a duke and you want to take a photo of it. That's what I'm doing right here. Look at that. It's a piece of tortoise shit. That's nice. 
So this is Andropogon floridana. You think so? We're not 100%, but you think, and that's what? Sure. That's Aristida spiciformis. 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 That's a fucking Aristida. Commonly known as bottle brush three on. Because it's got the it's got three ons on it. See, that's one of my favorite grass genera. God, yeah. this sand stuff. This, these are all just little dwarf saw palmettos, huh? Mm-hmm. And what's that? That's that Andropogon again, too? What, this? Yeah, it looks like Andropogon. All these goddamn here. scrub oak. What? It's amazing. Holy shit. What's that over there? What are you pointing That grass. At? That nice grass. That's the another Andropogon. Floridanum? Yeah. Wow. Like that. Yeah, I watched that video about those uh, twin brothers that were selling fucking, uh, you know, opiate pills. The Florida Pain Clinic. It's really bleak. It's also kind of funny. I mean, in a morbid way, like most things are nowadays. But uh, so I've been cracking jokes about it. But this is this is the fucking actual Florida Pain Clinic. This is this is that you really want to alleviate some pain. Get out here. At least what's left of it. Oh, what is this composite? Oh my God, looks like a liatris, but I don't think it is. It's the shit liatris is this. I've never seen any liatris that looks like that. Look at it's so filiform. There's barely any leaves. Oh, Look at that. Even one. That's crazy. God damn it. These scrub habitats are just amazing, man. You think there's water deep down in that sand? There is, yeah. There's, there's moisture deep down there, but it's super fast draining and oxygen rich because it's got the large pore sizes in that sand. Too. Look at that thing. Holy shit. How many Elantra species are in Florida? Oh, gosh. Over 12, I would say. This grass is Aerograstus eliadii. You can tell it's native because it's not smothering, it's not overtaking. The grass diversity here is insane. They're all fucking beautiful, too. Solid Dago fistulosa. Is, is this a, this is like a, where, what's the habitat of this? Always sand scrub with saw no, palmetto or what? Flat, flat woods, I would say. Uh -huh. it likes it slightly music to moist. And then this is Liatris, uh, would you say Quadriflora? Which looks just like the one that we just saw over there, but stiffer leaves, you said? Mm -hmm. Very More little. erect, upright leaves, ascending leaves, and shorter. God, it's leaves. just, it's not that dense either, man. It's nice. It's like open. You can walk in there. How often does this burn, you think? Every three years? This has not been burned adequately. This is like fire suppressed. Uh -huh. And, um, but yeah, it should be at least every, it should ideally be at least every three years. Yeah, this is this is Lyonia, which is again blueberry family Ericaceae, but it's got those woody fruits. Saw some cool Lyonias in the Dominican Republic, up at like seven thousand, eight thousand foot elevation in the pine forests up there. Maybe it was ten thousand feet. It was fucking high up, but they got woody fruits, and of course that the nice mycorrhizal action in the ground. Look at this thing. What the shit is that? That's got to be Joe Pieweed tribe, right? Stevia tribe. I can't even see if, yeah, you got those long styles, yeah. Carpiferous corymbosis, is that, is that right? Is that what you said? Carpiferous. 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 Corymbosis. It's my first time getting acquainted with these things, so. Oh, look, at they got big basil leaves down there, too. Yeah. Beautiful colline leaves. God, these things are blowing my mind. Look at that. And you got those long styles, just like Joe Pieweed, just like Stevia. Eupatori, the Jopai weed tribe. But this is just, you know, it's, this is nice, but you gotta remember, there's just a little crumb of habitat surrounded by garbage. Pawn shops, Florida pain clinics, CVS pharmacy, the car slums. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta bring you back to realities for a second. Oh, look at that. God damn. Oh, look at the tubes. You can see the nice floral tubes. God, this, look at this. This is, <laughs> this is, the white sand and Serenoa repens everywhere. That is pretty nice. You can see all that burn, too. Oh, the burning is so good. So much of Florida was dependent on fire. You just get so much rain, stuff will get choked out eventually. And then, of course, that's not even taken into account invasive species. But anyway, Carphophorus odoratissimus is this one. Not to be confused with this guy, that's uh, Carphophorus corymbosus. You can see they're slightly different when you get up close. Yeah, so there you go. You can see one's got that green stem with lots of pubescence on it, and the other's got a red and glabrous stem. Odoratismus has a red and glabrous stem. This is a fucking, this is a very impressive 
Jeez, the flowers. I mean, you could, the flowers on Corymbosis are much larger too. See that? You get a nice, nice comparison right there. It's just another beautiful liatris relative. I think this is in a different genus now, which is an anagram of liatris. It's a uh, what is it? Tree trialis tree some tree lisa. So this this is all this is because of the burn. You yes. wouldn't get this flowering without the burn. Yes. So it responds really well to fire and really blooms pr most prolifically after a burn. You would get some blooms when it's not burning. But not in mass. Burn. It needs oh, this. Look at this grasshopper. It needs this disturbance event to clear everything out. This is a semina reticulata. Oh, it's a pawpaw relative. Yeah. It is a pawpaw. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, the edible pawpaw. But it's it's not it's not the pawpaw we all know and love. Yeah. But so the the uh, leaves of this species, when they age and turn brown, they have a vanilla fragrance and flavor, and it used to be used to flavor tobacco. It was harvested and oh no shit, like for stogies and stuff. Yeah, yeah, you could collect some for your. Mm, nah, I'll leave it. I... <laughs> There's fucking barely anything left. Florida's really fucked its environment in the ass, like a. Uh... Well, I mean, most states in the Sun Belt have, but holy hell, Florida's a really sad case. All right, we'll focus on the positive. Let's keep going. Really reduced. Nice chicory relative. Like a Desmia aphila. No, no coralline leaves. They're, well, like, they must be down. There's no coralline leaves, but it's got that photosynthetic scape, and then they must be down. It's, it's got to have a little basal rosette somewhere, but a chicory relative. You look at those teeth, and they got five teeth instead of three, like most... Uh, Members of the sunflower family. This is the chicory subfamily. Oh, look at look at those long styles in there too. I, I gotta get nice photos of that. Look at that Galusacha nana right there, the glaucous one, the blue one. Look at those leaves. Ericaceae blueberry family, and then the same family Lyonia lucida back there. Tell me that doesn't look fire adapted. Tell me that doesn't look like it's been evolving with fire for tens, if not hundreds of thousands of years. Look at that Galusacha right there. Look at it. Look at those leaves. Look at the texture on the undersides. Yeah, there's that member of the tea family, that Gordonia. And there's a large one re-sprouting after the fire. That's crazy. Gordonia lazianthus. Look at that. Just, I've seen redwoods do that. Coast redwoods do that. Look at that. It's just re-sprouting re from the bark. wonder if the leaves contain caffeine, too. Look, we're beneath that Gordonia. T-A-C, which is in order Ericales. The blueberry order. We got Osmondastrum right here. Here's a sporophyll. So it's uh, actively sporulating, releasing spores, and then there is the uh, vegetative leaf. So sterile vegetative leaf and then the sporophyll. Look at this. Look at this. Sporangia on there. Jesus Christ. Take it easy. Wow. And then down here, it's a little more, it's a little more, uh, it's like two or three feet lower. And it's all swampy. We got a taxodium up there. Looks like taxodium ascendants. Nice relative of redwoods. And we got the, uh, right there, the knees popping up. Oh. God, I'd love to see a big fat rattlesnake just hanging out. Oh, so when's it going to happen? 